Good afternoon and welcome to Halakha Day number 831. Oh, Halakha that keeps the eights our way. This is Gabriel Jackton, and we'd like to honor my holy cousins David and Rena Lewis and family who join us every day from Jerusalem. Welcome, holy Lewis family, and this one's for you. And starting a new chapter, so excited. Laws concerning bread that was baked, food that was cooked, and milk that was milked by a non-Jew. And this is very relevant in today's world. The sages have forbidden us to eat bread baked by a non-Jew. There are localities, however, that are lenient and they buy bread from a non-Jewish baker when there is no Jewish baker in the vicinity. Or even if there is one, but his bread is inferior to that of the non-Jew. But they were not lenient regarding the bread made privately by a non-Jew, except in extraordinary circumstances. If you are traveling on the road, and kosher bread is available in another town, you must wait and buy kosher food if the town is within the distance of a parsa. Parsa is approximately 2.8 miles. Bread is not considered privately made unless the non-Jew made it for his own family. But if you made it to sell, it is considered baker's bread, even though he ordinarily does not bake for the trade. And therefore, in that case, you could eat that bread. Similarly, a baker who makes bread for his family is considered a private person. And in that case, you cannot eat that bread. And his bread is called private bread. There is an authority who maintains that in, in a locality where there are no bakeries, it is even permissible to eat the bread of a non-Jewish private person, and you do not have to wait for a kosher Jewish bread, and this is the accepted custom. The footnote says, this is true, of course, only where it is certain that non-kosher ingredients were not used in the baking of the bread. Of course, in the cases where it's permitted to have the um, baker's bread from a non-Jew, you have to assume that the ingredients are kosher, of course. And that's why you go to a regular supermarket and you'll find that there's a kosher symbol, the OU. It might not be pas Yisrael, bread from a Jew. It's bread from a non-Jew, but certainly it's kosher. That was your halacha. Thanks for listening. That was 831, the sponsor for Jalacha, $36, 100 for the gold. Once again, this one's for the Holy Louis family in Jerusalem. See you tomorrow.